I consider Self Help Graphics my home. I, I can never not go home. As long as I live, I will always go home. And for me, that's I'm not I'm not an artist per se. I, I'm a writer, and that's a form of art, yes. And I'm a installation artist, but and that's a form of art. But that's not what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a job where I go to an office and and that is my primary focus. And I want to make it clear that I don't consider myself the artist that say like Leo Limon or Michael Amesqua, Diane Gamboa, Irena Cervantes, Alma Lopez. They dedicate their, their lives to their art. I want to. I want to, but I don't have the wherewithal to do it. I I went back to school and I got my master's and I do have a book and I have a manuscript and I write and I, I did a, an installation for the Juarez, Prayer for Juarez exhibit at Casa 101701. And I, I do stuff, but I do it like, okay, do I have time to do it now? Yes, okay, let me go. It's not, I don't do it on a daily basis. That being said, I have invited and welcomed and embraced art into my life, in my life. It's such an important component of my life. It had it not been for self-help graphics. I, I wasn't a child, so to speak, when I became involved with it, but I was a young adult and I could have easily veered off in whatever direction and been not a productive human being. I work in the arts. I am in a director for four departments in a labor union that, that represents performers in the entertainment industry. I have a true appreciation for art in and a true value. I value it very much. Art is everywhere. The way buildings are constructed, the way roads are made, the gardens that we see, there is an art form to everything that we, we, uh, how we live our lives. You know, every aspect of our lives is, has, has been impacted by art. And I find that uh, self-help graphics was a huge and important force in my life. Um, and I was open to it. And thank God I was, because I don't know where I would be. I certainly wouldn't be as happy as I am now. Um, but it's, you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be an artist to get value from an, a cultural center like self help graphics. And I consider Sister Karen to be everyone's grandmother. I mean, without her, she was a pioneer. Without her, that community would not be where it's at. There were so many people that have come through those doors and through those that, that gallery that it just is an amazing, amazing amount of positive impact. Um, the depth of her, her um, presence and the depth of her... Um, her contribution to that community, it, you just, it can't be stressed enough.